The Union Cyclist International Bike City Project in conjunction with the KwaZulu-Natal Department of Sport and Recreation and Omzinduzi Municipality presented the KwaZulu-Natal Summer Series for Women in November 2016. Two-day festival of international racing was made up of two UCI 1.2 rated one-day races and was staged in the vicinity of Peter Maritzburg, the capital of KZN. And the heat certainly did have an effect on the riders. 30 degrees and climbing and in this part of the world it can also be very very humid indeed. Day 1 over a testing 105 kilometers. Two races, the Queen Nandi Challenge and the Queen Sabia Classic made a history as they were the first ever women's only UCI events on the African continent. Lots of speed bumps in the road and it was eyes down and looking. The 32-year-old Latvian-born international Norwegian Vita Heine though was in control all the way. Nature is nice, and um, we were a little bit concerned about the animals on the round. There was, there were some, but it was okay. <laughs> what I'm not used to, there were a lot of uh, like road bumps uh, to slow down the traffic. But uh, I lost a couple of bottles, and we had to be very careful when we crossed them on the downhill. I'm not really enjoying the heat because in Norway it's much, much colder. So I'm, I had to drink a lot, and, uh, but luckily it was okay today. Thirty k's, 90 riders broke away, and then a few k's further, seven women attacked and made the move stick. Favorite Vita Heine from Norway, Spain's Margarita Garcia, South Africans Anneli Kachelhofer, Pretoria Box Pro Cycling, Samantha Sanders and Carla Uberolser from Democon Cycling Team, Lisa Ullefier and the Team Freight E Team Colors, and Ethiopian Aira Tesfom from World Cycling Center Africa One were away up front. Germany's Charlotte Becker from High Tech Products right across, and that eventually made it eight up front. It is not an easier day today, and the route didn't make it any easier either. But yeah, if you keep hydrated and stuff, you can keep from cramping. And I think it's the people who drank the most that came through in the end and stuck with the front group. South African hill climber extraordinaire Lisa Ullefier broke away from the lead group at the 45 km mark, riding solo for the next 11 km, at times enjoying as much as a 50 second split to the group. So we went out there and I kind of went hard on the climb and then after that I was away on my own for about 15 k's. So I took a chance, you never know. I knew I wasn't going to have the legs to finish it off. The workers chased tirelessly to close the gap and eventually caught Ulifir just after the 55k mark. Margarita Garcia up the ante with less than 10 kilometers to go and built an 18 second lead on the peloton. And we were riding together all together until the last uh, 5k. And then the Spanish girl made a very brave movement. She attacked and was in the front alone. Que en los últimos 10 kilómetros he intentado irme sola. He will want to go alone in the final 10 uh, k's, uh, but the, the high tech girl catch her in the last uh, 5 uh, k's. And then I attacked and I came up to the Sp uh, Spanish girl and we were riding together, uh, but then she had decided to attack me I, as I was sitting on her wheel and then counter attacking and that was the winning move. Indeed, it was the winning move as Heine and the colors of high-tech products came through to take the victory in 3 hours, 16 minutes and 17 seconds, confirming her status as the 2016 Norwegian Cup champion. 
Spaniard Margarita Garcia from Biscaya Durango was second, and Germany's Charlotte Becker in high tech colors made it a one and three for high tech products. On the podium, congratulations all round, but a big win for Vita Heine. South Africa's only Kachelhofer almost, almost on the podium. Stream at 360. Challenging, innovative, and hitting back at high costs of live broadcasting.